this video is going to be all about incubating peacocks. So these eggs came from Missouri, and it's kind of crazy to think that you can actually get hatching eggs from peacocks off of eBay. One egg, two eggs, three eggs, four eggs. So we have two white peacocks, one tied, and one unknown. This is a white one. When you get eggs from eBay or wherever, you want to leave them for 24 hours sitting um, on the pointy end down, and that lets the air sac. The air sac is a ring around the top. Stabilize. These are our four peacock eggs that came today. We have five more coming. Off to get batch number two of the eggs with the yeah. garbage. Batch number two. Five more peacock eggs. My favorite. Bronze, black shoulder, purple, opal, black shoulder. Now, are you are you a business management concentrator? It's been 24 hours, now we're gonna spray the eggs with hydrogen peroxide, 3%, and that helps remove all the bacteria on the eggs, and apparently also helps with oxygen flowing into the eggs for the babies, so here we go. I give them a pretty liberal amount. Always keep the pointy end down so that the air sac isn't disturbed. Now we're gonna let them dry for a bit and then we're gonna put them in the incubator. This is our best incubator. Got it from grandma's closet. This one has its own egg turner which means I don't have to turn the eggs three times a day. Really should be five, but I'm never awake to turn them five times a day. But this one does it for me, so that's good. Temp can be trusted. Mm. Only on We've this tried thermometer. a lot of thermometers. Humidity, we have to average all of them. So I have three. on one side and an O on the other so that I know that the egg is rolling in the incubator and can keep track of it. Mother hens actually will roll their eggs around five times a day so that the embryo inside doesn't stick to the inner shell. So it's very important to keep rolling them until lockdown, which we'll get to eventually. You want to use a pencil and not a pen or something because you don't want the ink to seep through into the embryo. I really want this one to hatch like a lot. Is there movement? I think there's... Can you see the veins? Let me see it. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. The little embryo and the veins coming out of it. Mm -hmm. It's like a star coming out in the other direction. Little embryo. That's pretty cool, huh? It's like dancing in it. You're really dancing around. What on earth are they up to? I guess we got them at a good time. <laughs> but they were alert. This one is empty, as you can see. These are our last three survivors, the only fertile ones that are developing. 12 days left. Three days till hatch day. The game plan is we're going to candle the eggs. They're on day 25 now, so entering lockdown. Get rid of the egg turner for the ones that are going into lockdown and raise the humidity to around 70 to 80 for the lockdown version. Remove the tray, the egg turning tray, place the humidity measures back in. All 
right, we have our turkey baster. Trying to fill these channels up, get our humidity up a lot, and it's gotta last three days, so I'm more crazy than most people about this, but yes, you are. I take it scientifically. He's very rigorous I in have his my process. Turkey baster and everything. Maybe soon we'll incubate an emu egg. That's on our bucket list. Going up. It's getting humid in there. We want it around 70 to 80, I'd say. And it's going up already. Three days left. So what is the reason for the high humidity? There's a membrane around the chick inside the egg. And if it's too low humidity, what happens is the chick basically gets shrink wrapped inside the egg when it pips through. And if you've had the humidity too high, however, throughout the process, the chick can actually drown in the egg. So it's sort of a balancing act. If you whistle on top of the incubator, you might actually get a whistle response back from inside the egg, and you'll probably see the egg shimmy, which is pretty cool. After you see that initial crack, it usually takes between 12 to 24 hours for you to start um, seeing the chick unzip. Now, unzipping is the process where the chick pips around the entire perimeter of the egg and then kicks itself open. They always unzip counterclockwise for some reason. I don't know why, but... <laughs> They're in a pretty crazy position when they come out. Their head is like smushed under their wing and they're pipping like this. Egg left. <laughs>